Hello kids. Today I am here with the remaining part of the chapter Introduction to Wordpad. Page number 5. Our topic is Selecting Text. To select text in a Wordpad, you have to follow the given steps below. Okay, first step, move the cursor to the point from where you want to start selection. For example, in the text given below, if you want to select the word very, so you have to put your cursor before V. Okay, step 2, click and keeping the left mouse button pressed and drag the pointer over the text you want to select. The selected text gets highlighted. Once it gets highlighted, you have to follow step 3. Release the mouse button when the desired text is selected. After selecting the text, okay, you have to release the mouse button. So this is how you can select the text in the word pad. Now our next topic is typing text in color. Now how to change the color of the text. Okay. Follow the steps given below. The first step, click on the drop down arrow of the text color button. Second step, click on any color of your choice from the color box and the selected text will change its color. Okay. As in the given example here, interesting is selected and you have chosen the color red here. Uh, by fault, it is chosen red. So, interesting will be change its color into red color. Okay. Our next topic is saving a file in a wordpad or the file which you have made in a wordpad file. How to save it? The given steps below are there. Okay. The first step is Click on the word pad button as I told you on the very uh, top okay, left corner you will see a word pad button. Okay, you have to click on it. A drop down menu opens and once it opens it will show you a save option. Okay, the save option you have to click on the save option as it is shown in the picture given here. As soon as you click on save option the save as dialog box opens okay step 3 in the left pane select the location where you want to save the file as given in the picture here step 4 type the name of the file in the file name box any name you can give the to your file step 5 after giving name to your file step 5 click on save button and your file gets saved. So this is how you can save a file in a wordpad. Okay. Next topic. Opening an existing file in wordpad. Okay. So few steps you have to follow to open the existing file in wordpad. The steps are. 1. Click on the wordpad button. And the drop down menu opens. 2. Click on open option here you can see in the picture open option click on it as soon as you click on open option this open dialog box will appears okay step 3 in the left pane select the location where the file is saved so from the left side you have to select the location of your file step 4 click the file you wish to open and what is the last step click on open button which you can see in the picture okay the desired file will open okay in the next uh, uh, video I am going to discuss the assessment zone of this chapter by mistake I have left a topic on page number four creating a new file in wordpad so right now I am going to discuss it so to create a file we have to follow the steps okay the steps are step one Click on the wordpad button which is on the very top uh, left corner. Okay. And a drop down menu will open. Step 2. Click on a new option. Here you can see in the picture on the left hand side. And as soon as you click on new option, a new blank wordpad document opens. Okay. So this is all for this chapter. Goodbye.